Hello everyone, my name is Cosmo, but just call me Ice. If you know me, you know me, but to cut it short, I'm going to talk about someone who groomed me for almost three to four years straight. I should add, before anything, it has been about two years since this all happened. I am now just coming out about it. And you can already hear my voice. Me writing the script was something I had to work through. That's all I can say. I know I'm usually sounding serious and junk, but I have to act what I'm saying because it's a way I can push through this. So, yeah. Every piece of evidence is just a snippet of years worth of conversation daily and every piece of evidence in the doc or yeah will be linked in the doc and it's in the description i should note the timeline is going to be a bit off because i well number one i have a literal dissociation disorder Ooh, how fun. And me suppressing so many of these memories. I can't even remember dates or fucking days of the month. So, if anything, take some of this information with a grain of salt. Especially if you feel like it needs that to be hard on evidence. But I have as much evidence as I can show that I'm comfortable with. And I'll start this. My groomer is known as DJ Gaming Dog and he will be called DJ throughout all this. I'm 16 as of now and DJ around this time is 20. Throughout 2019 through 2022, I was 11 to 14. He was 15, 16 to 18. Ages are going to be a little bit off because, once again, my memory is shit. And I'm I'm just going to go screen, go through the screenshots and repeat what I've said within the doc. DJ adored to roleplay with me. And we met in a day shop at Freddy's Amino and met by roleplaying. We were both in a friend group at the time as well that kind of just involved around role playing. And we bonded throughout 2019 through 2022. He quite literally begged and begged me to role play with him. A lot of these role plays were not safe to work in, or not safe for work in nature. Now we're going for, or this is the scale. So we're first going to start off with, oh my god, what the fuck, to, oh, that's really bad. So prepare, it's, it's, it's a long one because I want the most hard on information to be first. At the time, or at this time, Amino doesn't have dates on messages, but all I have is screenshots and proof of these messages. He encouraged me to send him, me, audio, moaning which later he began to flirt with me then as well sexual content of him directly flirting and such to me in discord messages warning but during this time in my life it was traumatic and i was pushed into spaces that i should never have entered thus having a coping mechanism at this time would just overall with harmful shit, especially with fiction. And one of these things happened to be role-playing non-con slash sexual assault, and he went went along with this and encouraged this. And as I said, I was previously, I wouldn't say groomed, but I was very much not protected online. And this spurred into that 
and me being exposed to a lot of sexual content when I was younger as well. A little bit more information. And at the time, I drew a lot of drawings for him. A lot are in my Google Photos. Some are not so work in nature, and I do not feel comfortable showing these drawings, except for one which is in the messages, for just as like proof that these drawings do exist. As well, in the last of work plays, I'll show them here. It will be centered here, but it is not in a dock. Just note as well, these role plays continued on for days. And guilt tripping if he or if I didn't respond fast enough. He'd send me messages just over and over again, pitying himself until I came back to comfort him. He messaged so much that once I started to realize and push away, even telling him I was not comfortable with one-on-one -on -one conversation, she just kept going. It, it was... <sighs> and once I exposed him to my friend group, friend, friend group, he panicked. Once he got kicked out, he tried to contact one of my friends. He tried to contact me as well. He commented on a video of mine uh, as recently as 2023, and I deleted it, so I do not have evidence of this, but going off of what else has been said, it, it kind of fits into what, you know, extra information and more evidence of even... Uh, our start of our Discord conversations, stuff like that, are in the document once again. As well, him having a crush on a young, a younger member of the friend group, and all we have is our words. But as I said before, this behavior seems accurate. I mentioned this as well. Baby furs, baby furs, ugh. Following his account, it seems like after all this, and considering he's most likely seen the doc by now, they're gone. And for my own words, I can only list what happened in that time frame. <sighs> and we spent hour long voice chats in Amino, watching videos. I role played my characters, I drew art for him, I was the comforter. He begged me to talk to him as I slowly noticed I was being groomed. And I wasn't comfortable speaking out because I was scared that it was my own fault. He treated me as a best friend, and when I stopped responding to him, making up excuses, he kept going, and going, and going, never stopping. He even vented about me privately. He missed me. I don't miss him. It's funny. Now, where are we now? My friend, I'll call them A, got in contact with one of the DJ's current friends on Instagram, Hailstorm the Cat, in which I'll just be calling them Hailstorm. They drew DJ's current profile picture and are around 26 going off their profile. Here's the evidence of A in contact with Hailstorm, showing them the doc through screenshots since this person didn't want to open the link itself. We thought we're finally going to be heard by an adult who knows them. I was going to be heard. Nope. No. They went on DJ's defense, and now I can only show you what my friend has quoted them to say. I trust my friend's word because I've known A ever since 2019, 2019 and we are still friends to this day. Hailstorm directly asked DJ questions, but not me, because they didn't want A to ask me any questions due to me possibly lying, which... I, I find funny and all I can do is to sh show these screenshots of each of these comments in which I will read one out that specifically stuck out to me or a couple for example I'll read this one out there is evidence that implies that this person was actually the one pressuring DJ into involving questionable elements into roleplay. 
There is also instances of them harassing DJ, DJ into talking about embarrassing information about himself by using their own inappropriate interactions as incentive. They're guilt tripping and being manipulative in their in the mess in their messages. Let's see. Even as a younger individual, if you're dealing with a lot, I feel like you should have the understanding not to partake in bad behavior at the age it's most likely. The type of thing you need you're learning is which situations you need to stay away from. And and like I said, the evidence I had includes DJ being the one uncomfortable with the roleplay content, but I was actively encouraging it. And I genuinely believe he didn't realize what he was doing or what slash if he did when the situation had progressed enough where he was afraid to disappoint us by trying to quit those interactions. Those are their quotes quotes in defending DJ. I am I when I was typing the script, I was infuriated. You could hear my voice. I am infuriated. I want to cry. I am pissed because they are a twenty six year old. Victim blaming me in the messages who's around eleven to fourteen being vulnerable to an older teen who I thought was a best friend. A 26 year old blaming at this time a middle school child. They said both parties are at fault. How is that possible? When you have to considerate the maturity levels. You know, yes, they're both minors. There is a difference between an 11 year old and at 16 to oh my god it's infuriating i've said my age directly and i even told dj it's funny how the youngest member me and at the time the oldest member him were best friends absolutely utterly infuriating oh my god i'm not trying to cry because I do not want to garner sympathy. I, it pisses me off that someone could, I wouldn't say barely know him, but they haven't known him for a long enough time. And to defend him as a 26 year old, to blame a child or someone who is younger and has provided evidence for each and every single thing to just say both sides are at fault at fault for what for what that's all i can say now and as i've said before read the doc in the script in the description there will be updates to it but i want to simply get the word out I'm barely going to be editing editing this because I don't have the willpower to complete a whole like a dramatized video or even have my sprite in it I, I, I just want to upload this and that's all I can say now as I've said before and that's it I'll see you all later. That is it.